How's it going guys? So this morning Apple released a supplemental update to macOS High Sierra 10.13.6 which addresses a bug that caused the new quad core and six core Intel processors in the 2018 MacBook Pro models to improperly thermal throttle and impact overall processor performance. The thermal throttling issue was discovered by YouTubers David Lee and others and it appears that Apple has been in contact with David to discuss this issue. Additionally, a Reddit user apparently discovered that the root cause of the very bad performance drop during the throttling is not thermal throttling of the CPU, but rather power throttling of the VRM, the voltage regulator module, being unable to satisfy the power desires of the i9 CPU. In a statement from Apple, they indicate that following extensive performance testing under numerous workloads, we've identified that there is a missing digital key in the firmware that impacts the thermal management system and could drive clock speeds down under heavy thermal loads on the new MacBook Pro. A bug fix is included in today's macOS High Sierra 10.13.6 supplemental update and is recommended. We apologize to any customers who have experienced less than optimal performance on their new systems. Customers can expect the new 15-inch MacBook Pro to be up to 70% faster and the 13-inch MacBook Pro with touch bar to be up to two times faster as shown in the performance results on our website. The supplemental update can be downloaded via software update in the Mac App Store, but I've also included a direct link to the download in the video description. I just completed the update and I'll let you guys know how it performs. The update is 1.5 gigabytes and it took approximately 20 minutes to download and install. So guys, I'd love to know your thoughts on the thermal throttling issue and what Apple has done to address this, so please leave a comment down below. As always, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, then I hope you'll join the My Apple Zone community and become a subscriber. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video.